This is tutorial number 20, and it covers the draft function from the neutral plane. To start off, let's open up a new part file. So let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to start off with this, let's sketch a square. So let's click the front plane, click Sketch, click Rectangle. Now let's click the origin, and click a point outside of the origin. Now click Smart Dimension. And let's smart dimension this side to 50 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's click the Add Relation button and click the line that we just dimensioned and a line that's perpendicular to that. And let's make them equal. Click OK. Now to extrude it out, let's click Feature. Let's click Extrude. And we'll extrude it out 50 millimeters. Click OK. And now we've created our perfect square to work with. Now click Isometric View. Now to draft off of this square, let's click Draft Function. Now how the draft function works is that we need to click one neutral plane and then one plane that we're going to draft off of. So let's say we want to draft from this surface here. We need to click this plane as the neutral plane and then we have to click this face as the face that we want to draft off of. And now let's change the angle to 15 degrees. Click Enter, click OK, and now we've drafted 15 degrees out from that face. Now with this function like others, it's easy to manipulate it, so right click the draft, click Edit Feature, and let's change the angle to 45 degrees this time. Click OK, and now we've drafted that side out 45 degrees. Now, as we can draft out, we can also draft in. So instead of drafting out that way, from this face, we're actually able to draft in that way and cut out a piece. So this time, let's click Draft. Let's click the neutral plane again, and we'll click this face. To make it go inside and cut, this time, we'll click the arrow, the directional arrow, and make it point in. Click OK. And now it's cut inside, and it's drafted in. And this concludes our tutorial on the draft of the neutral plane axis.